We've all heard of blind spots. So this is regions within our vision uh, that the eye is actually uh, can't see. And so if you put a little spot and you move it across the eye, all of a sudden it disappears. Well, humans have a different kind of blind spot, and that's looking with vision into the future. Medical researchers have long focused on the problems of humans in terms of disease early in life. So every medical school has a department of pediatric medicine focused on the problems you have when you're young. We have a department of obstetrics, uh, deliver babies. There's only a very small handful of medical schools that have a department of geriatrics. And yet aging is killing everyone. It's the single largest cause of the rising costs of health care in the United States and around the world. So in the past, medical research has focused on the problems early in life. It's only in recent years that medical researchers, policymakers in Washington and others have began to look and say, maybe we ought to focus on the problems of aging. It's killing everyone and it's costing our nation trillions of dollars aging the way we do today. Perhaps we could do it more intelligently. We could do it better. But what's the hope of understanding human aging? In the past, scientists have looked at aging sort of like the old metaphor of the blindfolded people approaching an elephant, one feeling the leg and saying, well, this is, it's a tree, it's like a trunk of a tree, one holding its tail and saying, it's, it's, the elephant's a piece of rope. Scientists have looked at aging from different facets, different approaches, and seen it from, you know, looking at the metabolism in the cell and said, aging is, you know, a change in the way the body uses energy, and others have looked at cell biology and said aging is cells and their finite ability to replicate and that led to the understanding of the telomere clocking mechanism of cells. My prediction is that in the coming years, perhaps as soon as this decade, that we'll see a unification of these different views of aging and so we'll all take the blindfolds off and say, ah, I see the elephant in its entirety. We'll see the biology of aging the way we see other diseases, like Alzheimer's disease or HIV infection. And with that understanding, will become a new ability to intervene in the process. That, I believe, will be one of the most unexpected, unanticipated advances in the history of medicine and indeed the history of mankind.